All right, so I finally settled on a build setup. Um, this is what I ended up getting, and this is all from Amazon. I went to a marine supply down in Medford, and uh, they didn't have a whole lot of uh, choices, and their pumps um, are pretty expensive, and you know, especially after I looked them up online. And so I just thought, yeah, I'll do some more research, and this is what I came up with. Um, so. This is a Johnson pump. I um, can't remember what this one cost. It was like somewhere between 30 and 50 bucks maybe. But I um, ended up getting this float. It's kind of hard to tell online how big it was. It ended up being bigger than I kind of expected it to be. The thing is this has to go in a tight spot um, back by the intake. So I'm hoping it fits. Um, if not, it was pretty cheap. So. I think it's like eight bucks or something, if I recall. Um, but this is the, the Johnson pump setup. And it comes with um, this rubber boot as a check valve. Um, it basically goes on the pump here with the fitting over it. And um, I guess the back pressure is just supposed to close these flaps and keep it from coming back in the pump. Don't really care that much about it. I mean, how much water is left in the line after it's done pumping? If, if you're above you know, the water line enough, shouldn't should never have water coming back in um, you know filling up your boat or anything so um, so this is just a cheap bung I, I bought I, I think it was pretty reasonable um, as far as the type you know I'll just have to cut it into the side of the hole here or something um, I don't know I kind of thought about putting it up maybe like that to where you know sitting in the seat over there I can actually just see if anything's coming out of it if I decide to turn it on for some reason. Um, so I went with this switch panel. Um, wasn't the cheapest one. wasn't wasn't real expensive either, but um, I don't know, 20, 30 bucks. Um, but I wanted the manual um, on where it wasn't a momentary switch. So if you needed to in an emergency, you just turn it on, and let it rip, um, you know, and do whatever else you need to do. Um, obviously off position and auto so um, my plan was since it's sitting in the river um, possibly for the summer um, you know it'd be nice to just be able to put it in auto and know that you know if I have a leak or you know water builds up at least it'll pump until the battery dies um, so it comes with a circuit breaker on it um, 15 amp which is, you know, bigger than the pump. Pump's only a five amp fuse size is what it's recommending. So I believe I'll still install an inline fuse with that. Um, you know, this is kind of be a major short backup fuse. Um, and you can get these little circuit breakers like this. So it's, it's not like it couldn't be changed out to a smaller, smaller one. Um, now this, this here says 10 amp on the sticker, but the, uh, I believe this said 15. Oh, it does say 10. Okay. So it's only double the amps of the pump. Um, which locked rotor on these pumps isn't much. So I don't I don't think if it just locks up, maybe if it burns out in the shorts, it would cause a trip. But um, So this panel's made by Shoreline Marine. Um, got this off of Amazon as well. Um, I really like it. It's um, uh, aluminum plate. Which I had a hard time, you know, determining online. A lot of these things just don't tell you the materials they're made of. But it's a nice little aluminum plate. I think it's like, uh, I don't know, inch and three quarter by three inches, something like that. Um, not that big, and I kind of wanted a small footprint. Uh, there's a lot of switch panels that just really were cheap and look cheap. Um, you know, I wanted something a little heavier duty, and I think this fits the bill. Um, you know, even the toggle switch looks well made. Um, I've worked with a lot of those. There's, there, and you know a cheap one when you see one. This one has a, you know, a front metal plate cover with metal nuts. You know, the, the boot that screws over it's plastic ring, but, you know, it's not really a big deal. Um, the, uh, the metal ones do last longer. They have them that are kind of a hex metal, metal screw on ring. Um, if it ever goes bad, you can order them. I know Granger sells them. Um, and, um, other than that, I wasn't real wild about the, the lights. I mean, the indicator lights, and I'm hoping that, <laughs> I don't know, with an auto, I assume that when everything's powered up, 
even though your pump's not running that that light might be on if that's the case i'll probably disconnect it because i want to be able to leave it in auto and if, if i don't go down there for five days for whatever reason i don't have an led just sitting there slowly draining my battery so i don't know we'll see about that i don't know how worried about it i am but i probably won't like leaving it that way so the only issue i have is i ran two wires for a bilge pump um extra on the wiring harness and this is going to require three and so i just got the simple pump they didn't have the internal switch i didn't want to mess with that um they can be problematic in my experience so um i just i just wanted to straight out pump and separate switch easier to diagnose and fix problems with them you know and um you know hopefully won't even have to use it that much but yeah, I also needed something with a small foot, uh, footprint. Um, we'll see how that fits in there. I know it's about the amount of space I've got between in the in the very back center between the intake and the um, uh, engine bearers. So, as, you know, I'm trying to get back into the center as much as I can. We'll see how it goes. It's just it's I don't know if I'm really be able to mount that well or if it'll just be sitting in there and you know it'd be nice to secure it somehow it's not flopping around but i might do that just by with the hose connection you know have the hose come around put it under tension to where there's down pressure on on the the hose i'll go with the heavier hose um probably a braided you know clear pvc hose um and just take it up to this bung so hopefully that'll fit where i need it to go my thought on that was i may just use this um this marine sealant because um, I put this on a few days ago and it's it's crusted over but it's still soft in the middle this this thing would take well in this weather you know we're having like 60 degree weather um, easily takes a week for that stuff to cure up um, especially when it's that thick um, but once it does cure up it sticks really well if everything's clean and scuffed up and um, it's 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 not just gonna pop off with some vibration so I'd, I'd probably feel pretty good about just you know cleaning the metal up real good if i can find a good spot for it um just squirt a bunch of that crap on the bottom and stick it and then give it a week to to cure you know and i don't think it's going anywhere um otherwise it's not you know that's the position it has to be mounted in so there's no coming off the side of the engine bearer you know and it's i think it comes on at two inches and shuts off at like half an inch something like that um i said so on the front um yeah two inches and three quarters of an inch shuts off so um i don't know hopefully it'll work if not it was cheap eight or ten bucks maybe something like that so that's the build build setup i'll probably hopefully get to that this weekend not too worried you know actually i do want to put that in before i start adding in all the exhaust stuff and, and other things to put it back together just gonna probably be easier to get to those positions i don't want to put it in because once everything's on and around it it's, it's pretty tight down the bottom there um but basically I ordered some bolts from mcmaster car got some in today um didn't get them all um ordered some uh pan head screws for this floor so i didn't have a, a rough edge sticking up i did get the new engine latch screws in the tapered heads so i can change those out um, to where i don't have bolt heads sticking up um other than that we'll be back to it this weekend that's the bilge pump